There you go. That's a good look. I mean, maybe with the ear flap, you want that down. No, that's actually the, the game already. That's okay, not so the let's just jump into the game. We can fine. jump into the game. I mean, if it's playable and you're playing, why We're not? We're playing right now online. Okay, so uh, break it down. What is exactly is Valnir Rock? Well, Valnir Rock is an online uh, sandbox survival game with RPG elements. Okay. You have quests in there, for example. And one big feature is that uh, server owners can even create their own quest and storyline. So uh, this is a, I think it's a feature that's worldwide new. Yeah, so, I mean, I don't, I don't recall any sort of games that let you build your own quests. True. Which is kind of a unique thing. Like, but when you're talking about, like, I can build, like, a fetch quest, I can build, like, a, no, you go into this other person's army and just completely wipe them out kind of quest. How deep does the quest creation go? Well, you can go as deep as you want. You just need to script it. And we used Apache Groovy for that, and uh, we're still working on some drag and drop things, but yeah. Nice. And, um, well, actually, also, um, Valnir Rock is very deep in crafting. Uh, we have a discovery system in there uh, that lets you experiment with things. So you need to gather resources, like, like bushes, or this is not a bush you can gather, though. Mm -hmm. um, um, like bushes, uh, or um, you can gather wood, stones, whatever. Plants are very important, and you can craft things. For example, um, yeah, take that plant, for example, put it in there, and then you just need to, yeah, you can discover thread, for example, or craft thread. Maybe you can do that, Stefan? Yes, of course. Yeah? Yes, of course. Yeah. Master yes. thread crafter. And it, it's fairly easy, and if you, if you uh, put other things in there, like, like the marigold or whatever, um, um, it, it doesn't matter. Um, it, shows, it shows what you can craft with it. And if you don't have enough resources, it shows you a question mark, and you need to, to experiment and find out what to, what to craft. Kind of like in oh. my cra Minecraft, sure, yeah. but, but very different. <laughs> So is this uh, taken from a specific period in the Viking lore, or are you guys sort of creating an alternate universe of Vikings? Well, well actually, we, we work together with Giles Christian. He's a best-selling novelist, and um, he, he wrote a lot of Viking books, and he came up with a whole new story for the game. Wow. So uh, we have our own lore. We have, uh, he even wrote uh, uh, almost 50 quests. So uh, there are probably like 20 hours of gameplay only for quests, and then you still have the survival game. <laughs> wow. So what, what, what does the survival part hold? Like, well, actually, the survival there. part of the game is a um, classic survival game with base building. You can even build palisades and gates around it. And we even plan to have like NPCs you can employ to defend your base when you're offline, for example. Mm -hmm. And also, um, you have clans, and with those clans, you can declare war to other clans. But we also have PvE and PvE, PvP servers. Uh, on PvE servers, if you declare war, the other clan has, uh, has to approve that. So uh, nice. on PvE servers, it won't be so easy to, to kill other people. Also, we have a player killer system with somewhat of a divine retribution. That means if you kill noobs, for example, examples, they don't, gods don't lo like cowards, you know? You don't kill noobs, <laughs> yeah? Because... Or do you? Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> you, need to, you need a real warrior, you know? They favor you if you kill a real warrior. If you have a challenge, they love you. Okay. I mean, what if you're a noob and you're challenging like a higher up though, right? And then like, are you not supposed to kill them? If like, if they're coming at me, I'm like, whoa, bro, don't well, come at me, bro. Yeah, come on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I mean, really, um, yeah, you're supposed, you, you, you need to kill, you need to, you, you need to kill animals at least. You don't need to kill humans. Okay, cool. But, but actually, well, I love, I, I, myself, I like player killers because they give a thrill to the game, you know? Sure, yeah. And uh, also, uh, if a player killer, for example, kills someone near a city, um, then it's, it should be, um, yeah, there should be a bounty on his head, which is very, very great because others can hunt him down that then. Oh, nice. Oh, that is, that's pretty scary, though. <laughs> it has consequences if you do stuff like that. Well, everything, every action has a consequence. Um, so if you, for example, um, kill an animal or gather things, Everything has a consequence to the, and has an impact on the relations to the gods and to factions. We have three factions in there, and they, they have a rivalry. So, and the gods are, you can't, oh, 
And uh, for example, here you can see um, water drinking, so you have thirst and you have hunger. Uh, but you don't only have those two conditions, you have a whole lot more. Now, um, I like this right here, like just the going into battle in your undies. Like that seems the confidence, <laughs> your confidence level Viking is undies. high, your Viking <laughs> undies. Um, but obviously, is that how you start the game? Do you start off just clean slate and you have to go and sort of find well, all of this gear? Or is there like a gear system at the beginning and I can just jump into clothes? No, you're, <laughs> you're, you have nothing. You're actually naked. Oh, well, yeah? okay. Hey. Just like, like, like in other games. But um, yeah, you're naked. And uh, the first thing you'll get is probably a quest. Why are we not showing that? <laughs> yeah. uh, the first thing I'm getting is pants. That's the first thing I'm getting. <laughs> well, probably. Nobody needs pants. It's a pants quest. Yeah, <laughs> but you have a helmet now. I do. I got a helmet. <laughs> that's it's pretty more that's, more functional that's than that's pretty heads. safe. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> safe. At least so, nobody can hit your head. That's true. <laughs> um, no, but anyway, um, yeah, you're supposed to to do the quest, and we have some tutorial quests because we want RPG players to come into the game, uh, because it's a mixture of survival and RPG. Sure. So um, therefore, I guess um, it, it's it's easier for them to find into the game and to 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 love it. <laughs> I like it. What is your favorite side of the gameplay? Do you like the gathering and survival part, or do you actually go out and kill people all the time? Well, I'm, I'm the fighting kind of guy, I guess. Yeah. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> I love fighting, and it's different to other survival games, too, because you don't only have one move, you have combos, and also you have some tricks. You can keep people down. It's, it's kind of fun. I want to see some fighting. Can, yep. we, can we see that? Was yeah, it? probably it's, it's going to be in the B-roll, I guess, later okay. on. Okay. Uh, within the combat see. itself, uh, is that customizable to how you want to fight? Like, can I be like sort of the heavier, like just giant weapon swinging fighter, or can I be like more parry and Currently not, but we plan to do that. Okay. Um, currently, we have one-handed and one-handed with shield and also bows and crossbows in there. Okay. But we want to have like heavy axes and uh, spears in there, too. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm a heavy axe swinging son of a bee. You. That's just how I roll. That's, that's how you it. roll. <laughs> that's right. I want people the to Viking fear me in my way. giant Viking axe. Well, yeah, but, but uh, probably the most one of the most important weapons or are, is probably um, the shield. That's, that's very important in the game because that you can block, and that's, and that's important. And actually, even the wolf is very, very dangerous in the beginning. It can it can uh, jump at you, and you'll fall down. And a lot of people think of like, when you see like a wolf in any kind of game, you're like, all right, fodder, it's gonna be an easy kill. But if I saw a wolf in real life that was giant enough to kill me, I'd be terrified, first off. Hey, and I'd, I'd want to sort of finesse my way into battle with a giant scary wolf, just how I'm saying. If you hear a wolf, you're probably dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to know. In the game and in real life, probably. Yeah. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Run away from rabbit oh, scary Oh, this wolf. is Gangnam Style. That's, oh, here we go. that's Gangnam Style. Actually, we, there's no sound right now, is there? I can hear it a little okay. bit. Yeah. Hey, sexy Viking. Whoa. Whoa. What oh, is this? <laughs> can you explain that a little bit? Oh, that's just an <laughs> Easter egg. Just we memes. put in there. That's a, um, a hidden... Um, I mean, if the Vikings have cell phones, they have Gangnam Style, OK? Oh, uh, well, we, we, can, we can ask them if, we can, if, if they can do Gangnam Style oh. in the end. Yes. <laughs> We can have some Viking. You want to put your stuff. bodies on the spot. <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny. <laughs> some friend you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, this is this fighting. This there it is. is fighting. There's that, fighting. Oh, that, that goes really fast, actually. Yeah. See, fall, fell down. Oh. Now, are your shield? Can you like can you break your shield? Yeah, it, it can break. Right. And actually, um, this was an ordeal fight we did in the closed alpha because that was this. This one player killer, everybody was afraid of. And when he came, entered the server, everybody just ran to their base and, and you know, it, it just tried to defend it. He was really bad, but I, it, I, I loved that because uh, other, other, um, other clans, they, they just, you know, they stuck together and attacked him again. So he, they just tried to hunt him and he loved that. And you can see the base building or the, the house building actually. It currently. looks really smooth, like very organic, very what yeah. we're used to for survival games. Yeah, it's, it's um, yeah, you can build uh, like wood houses, stone houses mm -hmm. and clay houses and everything. So we have several tiers. Also with armor, we have several tiers and things like that. Okay. Right now, uh